The breach is aft of midship. It's also on the starboard side of the ship. So as you're looking at it from this end, it looks even worse than it is if you were looking at it from the bow. It's just tilting back and to the right. So on the, on the starboard ship, and now it's sinking, obviously, on, on its back. How big, do we know how big the, these, uh, these breaches are? We do not. No. It could be a rip. It could be a hole. Uh, without an underwater team to investigate and give me more information, we just don't know what we're dealing with yet. How so, much water is under the ship? There's not a lot of water underneath. Under normal conditions, she was floating with about five feet of water underneath her. So it can't sink, per se, entirely? It cannot sink. I mean, it would sink to the bottom, which is less than five feet, or depending on the water level of the lake. Uh, but that's about as far as she can go down. We've never been in this situation before, all right? This is new territory for us. Certainly a day that we never thought was coming. This is a sad day for the Naval Park, all right? Nobody wanted to see this happen. That's why we were taking measures to stay on top of it. Uh, we had a thorough hull study done two and a half years ago, so we knew what the problem was. We knew how we had to approach the problem. We actually raised the money. The community came up strong and supported the effort to do it. Uh, so we do have the money to get started, and it's just a matter of the timing, which is not working out in our favor right now.